The system tray has been hanging out in the bottom corner of your Windows desktop for many, many years, but unless you know how to add whatever programs you want to the system tray, then you're not really making the most of it. Here we're going to show you how to make the most of your Windows system tray using a couple of great little tools. Usually when you minimize a program or app, it goes to the taskbar, of course. This gives you quick access when you need to maximize it, but sometimes you don't need a program cluttering up your taskbar when it just needs to run in the background out of the way, such as when you're downloading files in your browser. That's when it's a good idea to send Windows 10 programs to the system tray instead. While some programs have this option by default, many don't. Several third-party tools, however, let you send any Windows 10 program directly to the system tray using the minimize option or a hotkey. This is also a great way to quickly hide running programs from prying eyes. Minimize to tray. One of the most commonly used tools to send Windows 10 programs to the system tray is minimize to tray. As the name implies, it minimizes apps to the system tray. However, it doesn't use the minimize button in the program's window. Instead, it's even easier, which is what makes it a popular choice. To send an active open window to the system tray and remove it from the taskbar, press Alt F1 and then press Alt F2 to restore the last minimize window. Alternatively, if you want to restore all your minimized system tray windows at once, press F10. You can change these hotkeys if you want by clicking the Minimize to Tray icon in your system tray. You'll also see a list of all currently minimized windows. This is a great app to ensure no one sees an open window if you don't want them to, as the icons aren't even visible in your system tray. The tool is completely free and regularly updated. And whilst I tested it on Windows 10, it does work on Windows 7 and Windows 8 as well. Also note you may have to disable your NVIDIA gaming capture controls because they do interfere with this process, or at least they did with me. Traymond. Traymond is one of the simplest apps to send Windows 10 programs to the system tray. It's a portable program, has no settings, and erases any stored data when you close the app or restart your computer. If you want a third party tool that doesn't leave any real trace behind, Traymond is a great choice. Traymond is easy to use, there's only one hotkey combo to remember. When any window is open, press Win Shift Z. To maximize the window again and return it to the taskbar, double click the programs icon in the system tray. You can also right click the Traymond icon in your system tray and choose restore all windows if you want to maximize multiple windows at once. Actual Window Minimizer. As the only premium option on the list, Actual Window Minimizer also works a little differently from the rest. Instead of a hotkey, this tool adds an actual new minimize option to every Windows 10 app window. This doesn't replace your existing minimize icon, it just adds to it. Right next to the existing minimize icon, there's a smaller minimize icon. And so with a single click, you can send any app directly to the system tray. While the icon does appear in the tray, it's not visible unless you expand the system tray to show all icons. Since the app does actually cost $19.95 and only provides free updates for a year, it does offer additional customization options. You can configure actual window minimizer to use hotkeys, change the minimize mode and how to restore windows and much more. It's a much beefier option if you want more control and like the idea of having the minimize option in your Windows 10 programs windows. There's a 14 day free trial to see if you'd like the tool before you buy. RB Tray. RB Tray takes a slightly different approach to sending Windows 10's programs to the system tray. There aren't any hotkeys or new icons. In fact, you won't even see an RB Tray icon in your system tray. Instead, double click the app to start running it in the background. It's a portable app and doesn't install anything. Then right click the minimize button in any window to instantly minimize it to the system tray. When you want it back, click the minimized apps icon to maximize it and return it to the taskbar. It's simple, small and highly effective tool. It hasn't been updated in a while, but it did work on Windows 10 in my tests or for browsers, folders, office files and other stuff. If you love using shortcuts and hotkeys as a Windows 10 user, make sure you know these 20 shortcuts and hotkeys for faster navigation or create your own custom hotkeys just like a few of the options above. There are links to all of that in the description. Okay, as always, thank you so much for watching. That's all for now. See you next time.